Oh my days, this Holger 556 class is insanely broken with that drop back to back nukes, which you can too, as long as you're using the build. So I actually got two different builds for you guys. So this gun is the best medium range weapon, which is why it got banned in competitive play. So I got a more mobility aggressive SMG build, and then I got the no recoil build, which I feel like most people are going to like the no recoil build. So we're going to be going over that first. We are not going to be running a suppressor, but if you do want to hide yourself from the raider and you don't mind your gun having a little bit more recoil then i would add the shadow strike suppressor but for this build we are going to be adding the trl4 saber compensator i use this on a lot of my guns yes we are losing damage range but we are going to be using attachments to mitigate those cons the main reason we are going to be adding this is that it brings down the horizontal recoil by 25.4 percent basically eliminating that side to side bounce allowing you to beam players across the map this thing is so nasty with the compensator yes we are losing a little bit of our ads speed and you know we don't have that much vertical recoil so we are going to be going over to the underbarrel and then i'm going to be adding the skeletal vertical grip which this grip so good i'm very happy that the vertical grips in this game are very good because you know in a lot of call of duties you never really want to use them but in this one the reason you want to add the vertical is that it adds obviously you know some vertical recoil control and then we're also going to get some recoil gun kick control yes we are losing a little bit of our horizontal recoil control but you know we already have so much that's not not going to really matter one little tip is that if you look at your your recoil it starts out at one degree whenever you have better recoil than the base weapon it's going to be below one degree if you have uh if the value says like more than one degree that means you're going to have worse recoil control in this case it is below one degree so now we are going to have less recoil than the base weapon plus we're going to get an increase to that sprint of fire speed and the ads speed basically mitigating the cons that we are getting with the compensator besides that damage range so we are going to be going over to the barrel and then we are going to be adding the chario 6 match which is going to severely bump up that range and add a lot of recoil control and you guys can see why this gun is so good at range a 20 percent increase to the damage range and so now at 42 meters that is our effective damage range which that means basically it's going to start to take more shots to kill at 42 meters and then our minimum damage range is now 53.6 that's when it's not going to take any more shots to kill if it takes seven shots it's going to take seven shots at like 60, 70, 80 meters and so on. And then we also get an increase to our ball velocity. I would like the ball velocity to be a little bit quicker. And so if you do want to add the high grain rounds, that might make the weapon a little bit nicer. But overall, you guys are going to see I'm beaming these sly cancers. I got a nuke against sweaty people somewhat. And then the recoil control. Now we get even more. Yes, we are losing a lot of our mobility. That is a downside, but this is the no recoil build. You shouldn't be rushing too much with it the other build's a little bit better for rushing so overall this build is going to be nasty you guys are going to see that by the way do you want everything in modern warfare 3 but you're just a little too busy then i would definitely check out guapsi guapsi is a very reliable company where they will play in your account to unlock whatever you want definitely check them out and see what they have to offer i'll have their link in the description so for the next attachment, we are going to be adding a little bit more recoil control. Usually I would be adding a rear grip for that. But after looking at all of these, you know, the only one that gives you recoil control is going to be the Morn 20. But we're losing a lot of our aim walking speed, 20%, which you always want to strafe in your gunfight. You always want to move left to right in your gunfight. That's going to make yourself a harder target to hit. Plus, you do activate your rotational aim assist, making yourself um, basically making it so you have more aim assist. So you don't really want to add that. So in this case, we are going to be adding the uh, adult assault stock which is going to add a lot of recoil control for the vertical and the horizontal we get 13.6 percent and then for the recoil gun kick which is basically like the smoothness of your recoil the gun's gonna basically just be a little bit nicer to you when you have a higher recoil gun kick which in this case we are gonna have that ads speed is a little bit slow so if that does annoy you and you don't mind running a laser honestly i would just run the fss olev laser only increase the ads speed by seven percent but you get a lot of stability and so basically your gun isn't gonna sway in the gunfight so then you'll have more of a predictable recoil pattern lasers are great but a lot of people don't know how to use them they'll be just looking down like a line of sight like right through a door with with that but then the enemies can see that so you want to aim at like the door frame and then flick over when you see them you just gotta you know keep that in mind if you want to increase the overall damage range and things just making it even better at range then i would add the high grain rounds yes we are losing recoil control but we already have a lot of recoil 
control so that's not going to matter as much you're just going to really notice that increase through your ball velocity this thing is going to feel like hit scan so this is a, another very good build what you guys could do is take off the compensator and then add an optic if you want an optic but um you know in this case i would recommend just not running the ammo and then i'm going to be adding a optic oh before that if you guys want to increase ammo count i would add the 40 round mag this is a, another very good build and then i'm curious is there a way to yeah you can't really increase mobility without hurting the weapon a lot so if you want to increase mobility just do the laser the optic i do recommend you guys to add is going to be the reflector sight this one is going to basically make it so you have like an elo sight and this oh my days it is so i'm missing it is so easy to use this build you guys are going to be beaming if you don't have your first mgb you'll probably have your first mgb now after using this build so if you guys do want to take a screenshot of the class here you guys go which don't leave now you guys got to get one more class so to make this thing a little bit better for rushing we are going to be taking off the compensator and we're going to be adding a suppressor oh there's so many muzzles so the suppressor is basically going to make it so then the enemies don't really know where you're at you can run around the map and then you're not going to be showing up on the radar when you fire your weapon and then we are going to be taking off the barrel yes the damage range isn't going to be the best but this this is going to be the aggressive build so it's not going to matter as much the mobility is going to help you out way more especially when we go ahead and we add the dr6 hand stop the xrk is also a very good one but i like this one a little bit more you know you have a little bit more cons but the cons is like your tax stance spread which you know that really doesn't matter like don't ever use the tax friends so basically you got no cons now and so right here this isn't the full build but right here is another very good suppressed build you're not gonna have the best recoil control or damage range but as long as you're aggressive that shouldn't really matter too much and then you want to go ahead add the 40 round mag again you can use another variation you can add a barrel if you want you can add an ammo or a rear grip of your choice like the variations i gave you if you don't want to run the 40 but for this build i've been really liking the 40 and then i believe i'm keeping the assault stock on there just since that adds a lot of recoil control and then i'm gonna be adding a laser which the laser yes the enemies can see it but you know you got a lot of mobility now you got a lot of ammo the enemies aren't gonna know where you're at and you still got a lot of recoil control the iron sights honestly aren't that bad as long as you're using it like an smg even at long range is not that bad which is why you know i try to get variations everything's a personal preference thing uh, here is the build i'm running for the aggressive build and then if you guys are curious of all the other things that we are going to be rocking over here so i got the renetti as my secondary this is more of my long range build so i got the claymores on here i was playing a little bit campy with this build just to mix up my play style usually i'm pretty aggressive but in this case i want to have a little bit more fun i'm running the demolition vest so then i can go around and place down my claymores or proximity mines then i can rejuvenate them every 25 seconds as well as my stim and so you know you can be a big camper with this and then run the munitions box got the assault gloves so then we can play aggressive we can jump shot when needed and we will still have very good accuracy got the covert sneakers for the dead silence the enemies don't really know where you're at for this build i would usually run the ghost so then the enemies really don't know where i'm at but um you know i don't have it unlocked because of the armory challenge thing so i'm just running the eod attack mass is pretty good same with the conduction headset that really amplifies footsteps and then another very good build do i did i lose it okay no right over here so semitex on here very good with this build you can play super aggressive you know you're not gonna really die by nades the enemies aren't gonna hear you you're gonna be off the radar if you want you can add ghosts then you'll really be off the radar that's another very good build but with all that with all that said that's gonna wrap it up now let's get into the back-to-back -back nasty mgbs yo ladies and gents we're loading into some underpass and you know this map can go very well and it can go very not so well hopefully it's going well if you're watching this that means it went very well we're gonna try to get these enemies into a little spawn jump try to predict where they're gonna be at they usually all just run up to mid instantly i can just watch that boom he's gonna be dead i already know where they're gonna be at but yo i got built-in walls yo everyone goes on b all the time oh baby you're dead all that skins for what that crazy skin for what oh to die damn okay we got one man up here american sniper sorry to see you go man and then i'm gonna climb up this Boom, we just know, see boys? People are gonna be like, oh, he's got walls. Nah, bitch. I just know. Seabus always knows. Where are they going? Does this guy know? Does this guy know? What? What he knows? He knows as well. He just was sitting there. That was a little bit weird. Oh, you dead? Okay. No, yo, I got the wrong streaks again. Damn it, dude. Oh my days. I already failed recording this once and I accidentally had the wrong streaks on. You dead? He's okay. He's gonna be hunting me down. That guy, we know for a fact, he does not like me. Unless the whole enemy team is just all running the same skin, and I haven't killed the same guy twice at all. Boom! You dead? Gonna chuck a nade over there, so then I have time to reload. 
We got a hit marker, so that means he's close by. But I bet he didn't expect the double nade. The double nade goes crazy in this game. Yo, we got that crazy skin. Dude, what am I playing? Skylanders? What the hell is this? Oh, you dead? Okay. We're on the 11. That man's dead. Oh, I gotta be very careful. These guys are gunning. These guys are gunning. They're gonna be predict. Stop stunning me. Stop. Why do you guys stun? You ruined my day when you stun, bitch. Okay, you know what? They're not gonna expect this. Maybe that guy saw me. Buddy, what are you doing? You think you can gun me? When, when I got this class. Nah, buddy, never. Boom. Boom. Oh, look at that. They're in the blender, boys. They're in the blender. They don't know what to do. Oh, shit. No, they, they definitely know what to do. Ooh. Yo, we're on the 19, boys. Okay. I believe we can get this. I just need to keep playing aggressive. Keep this momentum on them. Got to keep them pinched because, you know, the advanced UAV is going to run out soon. And once that is gone, the advanced plays are gone. Fuck! What was that? Where did he come from? Dude, he spawned in my asshole. What was that? I did not like... Dude, I thought I was going to have that nuke in the bag right there. That's tragic, dude. That is so tragic. We're going to chuck double nades down here, though. Hello? There we go. Yo, dude, they literally just spawned out of plants. Out of nowhere. I don't understand at all. But, dude, this gun is crazy. Literally, nothing's better than a, a, a medium range. Oh, Renetti's crazy, too. Yo, or, or, uh, maybe we're just crazy. I don't even know. Let's get the counter up. Enemies are spawning over here. Do another UAV. Buddy. Ain't no way. Ain't no way you're that much in the blender to where you're playing like that. That's crazy. That guy inside? Buddy, what are you doing? Are you playing hide and seek? This isn't Seabass Customs. This isn't Michael Myers. What are you doing? Okay, I really want to capture the flag so then all the enemies have to press me. Bro, I swear they're spawning like right there. Like out in the open. Okay, I don't want to play slow, but they're all kind of coming over to this flag. Yo, they're slide canceling. And my lobby, no, dude, I'm going to shut you down. Bro, this class is crazy. This is actually an insane class. This is better than the mobility one I built. But the mobility one I built, that one's got more mobility. Buddy. <sighs> nah, buddy, you get out of here. We got the mobility, Holger. If you thought the other one was good... Oh, yo, you're in for a try for a treat. No, yeah, for for a prize. I don't even know. You're in for a quad feed. We just got a nasty quad. Let's go, boys. It smells like McDonald's in here. We're kind of frying the enemies. It smells like a bunch of potatoes, a bunch of fries. Bro, these dudes are playing hella slow. They are a slow team. I just ran around the whole map and I couldn't find anybody. And then I just see Snoop Dogg again. Dude, I think Snoop Dogg's like the most popular skin. And just that that purple skin Snoop Dogg one. I've never seen so many of those in my life. And boom, you dead. You dead all my days. Yo, if you want crazy aim like me. Sorry to toot my horn again. But, you know, if you want crazy aim like me, I'll definitely watch my settings video. It's all the settings. It's nothing about like skill or anything. It's just straight settings and a little bit of aim assist in there too. Okay, boom, you dead. You dead. Whoa, what the fuck? Yo, Snoop Dogg just morphed into a green man. I, I was turning around expecting there to be a Snoop Dogg, but no, it was a whole different dude. Oh, yo, I love the 40 round mag on this thing because you can just really lay out shots onto the enemies and they just really can't do nothing about it. Okay, you know, I need to back out because those guys are kind of taking over right now. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to come up behind them. I'm going to come on their back. Wait, pause. Go up here. Boom. You with that, we're going to keep this high ground. We need to keep finessing. This is when we need to play aggressive, though, because we got the advanced UAV. Buddy, where are you at? There's no shot you actually survived all that. Boom. Crazy aim. Boom. Oh, look at that. He missed his RPG shot. Bro is the Taliban. Okay, this dude thinks he's good. He has no idea. I just turned them into a potato. Got to keep on playing aggressive. I got to remember that. Sometimes I like slow down. I'm like, nah. I got to keep on playing aggressive. Oh, see the spray transfer right there? I had to make sure I killed the guy who was a bigger, uh, bigger threat to me. 
Dude, it's so simple. This gun in this class is crazy. Oh my days. You guys are going to love it. You guys are going to absolutely love this build. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button down below if you want to get better at Call of Duty. We're about to hit 100k subscribers. I didn't realize they could see me there. This is very sketchy. I don't really like pushing this. So that's why I'm going to play it a little bit slow. They could be spawning to my left. And they could be to my right. So that's why I'm just playing slow. Letting this play out. I want to make sure I don't die from the side. But I know they're over here. And, okay, I don't have the advanced UAV anymore. Sometimes I feel like I should wait on the advanced UAV. Bro, bro, where did they go from? Like, why are you going back into your spawn, buddy? Go over to the hard point. That's why I like hard point, because all the enemies are typically on the hard Okay. Uh, yo, you are disabled as shit. Reload your gun, soldier. That's one thing I really hate about the Holger, is that the, the reload speed is not there. It is negative. Oh, where are they at? What is this nonsense? Yo, I love the... I forgot, I think it's the demolition vest where you have like multiple nades and like everything recharges every 25 seconds. That is actually a must for me. Saves my life all the time. Okay, we're going to reload our weapon before we press anything. No, we are not. I guess what, dude? Oh my days. I feel like I can go heat up my burrito in the microwave. I could probably go make my own burrito. Doing? Why are you hitting me? Okay, UAV? Yo, that is so clutch. Oh my days. I love when your teammates get the UAVs. 29? I swear to God, if I die, I'm going to lose my shit. Oh, he lost his shit because he's about to get nuked. And then now, boys, we're going to go use the no recoil build that we were using at the beginning before we died in that sweaty lobby. And we are going to go get a nuke with that. Yo, I, I'm definitely going to be making a lot of videos on this gun because this thing fries. Oh, my days, dude. I don't even got to submit my application to McDonald's. I'm already hired. I'm on fryer. Whew. That was pretty funny, boys. I, I uh, That was, was super funny. Bro. Where are these enemies? I need them to learn how to play the game, though. Like, they obviously, they're super good at the game. They already know what they're doing. But I need them to start capturing the objective. That's what I need in my life. I need them to capture the objective so the game will go a little bit longer. It is 250. What the fuck, Sepia? Oh, hell no, dude. You're getting fucking nuked. About to get nuked. Oh, my days. You know what? You're about to get pulled up on. Yo, 41 and 3? Oh my days! Let's get into the next gameplay. Yo, what the f- wait. Wait, I, I can't fire my gun. I literally- I can't fire my gun. I don't know what's going on. I- I cannot fire. What is this? What? No, I actually can't use my weapons. Maybe I gotta get a kill. Okay, we got the advanced. Bro, what the hell is this glitch? I literally cannot fire my- what? What? I don't understand. What is this glitch? It's the worst glitch I've ever had in my life. <laughs> Buddy, what are you doing, mister? What are you doing, man? Yo, I just ran around the whole map and I haven't found anybody. I don't know what these guys are doing. I just cannot find them whatsoever. I need to get some high ground so I can look down at them, but like, I don't even... Yo, so on this map, it's a little bit weird. You can die from so many different angles. And so I usually... Okay, where I'm at right now is not a good spot. I usually like to stay up here. And then I can kind of zone the areas on hardpoint and get some crazy spawns. You guys will see in a second. The spawns are about to get very, very nutty. Wait, yo, okay, buddy. I don't know why you took so long to die. I was just missing so many shots. Okay. So all the enemies should be spawning by the hard point since... My teammates are on every other area of the map. The enemy should be in here. Oh, look at that, boys. I just know. Siva still knows. He always knows. Let's go. Oh, but he's in the corner. Did he spawn there or did he... Bro, my nose. So itchy. Oh, you're AFK. I hate that. Wait, I think he moved. Yo, dude's trying to bamboozle me. He's trying to pull some buffoonery on me. Let's do this. Just to avoid people from coming into that doorway. That's what she said. And then I'm going to push through here. 
And, you know, I'm still trying to learn where to use the Guardians and stuff, the best places to put those. So the reason I didn't push down to go get that kill is because I want the enemies to get a little bit more confidence. I want them to start pushing the hard point. I should have died yesterday. I should have died yesterday. I don't know how I'm still going. But we're still going. Let's go, boys. Okay, we're going to throw down this here. And then I'm going to go get some high ground. I'm going to jump back up here. And then they're all going to be in this hard point. But we got the ranged building. So we are going to be beaming like crazy in a second. And throw that there. He said just randomly flank me. Boom, you were dead. He thought he would survive that. That guy's dead. Once I get the advanced UAV, it's going to be uh, advanced gameplay. Wait, teammates were the... Oh, okay. I think enemies... Are oh, you dead? Oh, I know where they're spawning now, boys. I know where they're spawning now. Because I got the advanced UAV. That's the only reason. Buddy. Dude, sometimes I have, like, insane accuracy. And then sometimes I just miss every shot. And I literally don't understand. Right, it's so drastic at times. Okay, I, I just don't like how I'm being pinched right now, so it's making me a little bit, like, anxious. Okay, yeah, see, that guy's beaming me. I got people behind me. Oh, he's dead, though. Are you dead or not? Gee, dude, I don't know what's wrong with me. I really don't know what's wrong with me. I just need, like, a, a mental reset, maybe. Bro, this thing is so nasty. It looks like it's taking me a lot of shots, but I'm just having bad accuracy. At medium range, though, this thing goes crazy, especially with all the damage range that we got now. The barrel. And then we got no recoil. As I'm missing some shots. Dude, what the... F what is going on? It's so inconsistent at times, like the TTK on this game. Oh, yeah, let me know in the comments. What do you guys... Oh, if... I don't think I've asked you guys anything else, so I think I can ask you guys this. Sometimes I'll ask you guys 15 questions in the same video. What do you guys prefer? Longer time to kill? Or do you like the shorter time to kill? Or do you like a, a middle ground time to kill? Which I guess it would not be... Mod There's a guy over here. That's so annoying. That would not be Modern Warfare 2. Like, Modern Warfare 2, that time to kill is very quick. This game has a very um, long time to kill. Dude, there's still a guy back there. What is he doing? Dude, I'm probably going to get sniped by him. I already know. Oh, you dead. See, when you aim up your chest, you actually hit your shots. That's when the time to kill feels very quick. Boom, we're going to throw that there. So then we don't really need to worry about the enemy flanking us as much. I don't think this man knows. But why does he take his sweet time? See how we're always moving? You want to keep those feet moving, boys. Always keep those feet moving. And I'm always going to be kind of rotating this area because I have the most control in this area. I'm going to flank them. Except for I don't have any ammo. This is not good. No! I needed that kill. Okay, you dead. It looks like he's not even really playing the game, though. Boy, aim assist going crazy. Throw it down the munitions box. I think they are spawning behind me. UAV. Thank you. See, literally, game, uh, Call of Duty, it's just a game of predictions. You just got to know where the enemies are at, and that's all that matters. But he's dead. We're on the 28. Now, where are these enemies at? Where are they going to be at? Where, where, where are they at? I would like if my, you know, Claymore's got some kills. I'll probably throw in the proximity mines once I unlock those. Except for, you know, I still prefer to run my 7th X. I'm, I'm just trying to mix things up and play a little bit more unique. And, you know, I watch Ears play. And then he uses, like, proximity mines. And I'm like, you know, that actually looks kind of fun just to do some, like, hardcore camping and things. And so I need to remember to place these down. Except for I don't get any kills with mines. So I don't know if it's, like, user error. What? No! You know what? I got double nuke. I don't give a shit, boys. I got a double nuke. And you know what? Yeah, yeah we still can get a nuke. We still can get a nuke 100%. If I don't get a nuke this gameplay, I'm going to cut to something that's very, very funny. And annoying. Okay, ladies, we are going to get this nuke. Oh, one million percent. One million. You thought I wouldn't get the nuke. Nope. We are going to get the nuke. We got the nuke. I already know. 
You gotta have full confidence. Bro, thank you, teammate. Thank you so much for that. Oh my days, you're a lifesaver. Bro. Dude, this map has so many little obstacles. So annoying. Okay, you know what? Fuck that shit.